Welcome to the 18th part of the tutorial series. In this part, we will implement shooting. So when we run our game now, we can move our rocket, and when we click somewhere, we get the location of our mouse. Now, um, for now, we will only implement shooting in a way that uh, the projectile it will uh, get shot in a straight line. But uh, later on, we'll implement shooting where uh, the projectile will, well, will uh, shoot in the direction of your mouse click. So, uh, to start. Um, well, you can actually remove everything in here for now. And actually begin by dragging uh, a ball texture, a ball icon into your resource folder and make sure in Xcode this copy item into the destination groups folder where there is selected. I'll upload the texture for you. Then let's load the texture. So uh, in your game window.h create a new variable called gel underscore inside integer underscore Texture or name this ball texture buffer ID. Okay, now let's load the texture. So underscore texture, oh, sorry, underscore ball texture ID equals load and buffer image and name the and it just ball dot dot dja and okay so now now also let's create a, a vector array where we will store store all of our balls <laughs> it's almost strange um, so just type std Vector, as uh, sorry, as yeah, sprite pointer. Oh, damn it! Sprite pointer, and it will be a pointer to um, and just name this balls. And name the balls array. Sounds really strange. <laughs> Balls area. Okay. And then let's. Now in your game window constructor, let's create it. So balls area equals new. New vector. Sprite. Let's this up. No, no, it's it's a small vector, sorry. Vector Oh I, I forgot oh damn I forgot the STD. Okay, so this is the notation. Let me make sure you got this right. Um okay then in your mouse button pressed method. So every time you press a button, we want to create a new a new ball. So type a sprite pointer to a ball equals new sprite with and we use the texture the the ball texture buffer ID and the position yes and the position so and well actually and the position will be so make vector 2 the x position will basically be our will be our uh, our rocket so yeah our, our player rocket so just to play a rocket 
dot position and wait a second do it and just do player rocket dot get position dot x and I y will be our player rocket get position dot y okay and now also we have to set our, our velocity so ball ball dot set velocity and this will be make vector 2 and it will be 0 it will be sorry it will be for now like say 2 on the x and 0 on the y okay now i have to add this uh, this ball to the to our uh, array so balls array push and push back ball okay so now every time we click we'll be at the ball to the balls area now we uh, we also have to of course render our ball and update it so to do that uncomment um, the for loop uh, of our sprite and and make sure to change the, uh, the sprite I forgot its name the render array to uh, to balls array so balls array just copy and paste this just change everything to balls array and then also in the update method change everything to balls array Okay, and I forgot one thing. Uh, in Xcode, you go to your project manager and make sure in build phases of the targets to add our new texture. So just uh, yes, add our ball texture to the project like this. Okay, um, now let me run this and press our mouse button. We shoot projectiles and they're always flying in front. So First off, um, let's make them go a little bit faster. So change the velocity to like five. Maybe should be fine. A little bit better, maybe even faster, like eight. And it's good for now. Okay. Um, now also, uh, let's delete this. Uh, so in your inspector, and comment this block and just change everything to sprite array. Find this. And also delete your, um, delete your player rocket number added. So the replay rocket and um, gl delete buffers and delete your and delete your uh, one vertex buffer. So delete your vertex buffer and we should also delete our texture buffers. But um, let's whatever. Yes, make sure it's an add. So it's the best it's a preference. And we should delete our um, our texture buffers too, but we'll do that in another video. Um, and it's still very simple, but feel yeah, we'll uh, make this more complex later. And we also have to delete our ball span they move off screen. 
because now they just keep adding to the array and that's that's not good. Um, so yeah, for now this is everything and see you next time. Bye. Oh well maybe one more thing. Um, that's like so if we shoot them now, the balls, they're so they start like in the middle of, of the rocket. That's like they said, so they start like at the tip of the rocket. So um so just add like uh plus square size divided by two. And that's a bit better. And like that. Okay, that's everything for now. Okay. See you later. Bye.